Hello, and welcome to my podcast. Today I'm going to be talking about why I decided to have a podcast. Um, I feel like you can't have a podcast with one person, but oh well, now I am. (laughs) I started a YouTube channel just doing some random things, and a lot of my space got taken up because of that, so I didn't continue doing it. But I thought, why not do a podcast? Because I like to talk a lot and do like to do story times. But I don't like to have things planned. So maybe a podcast would be good. So the first thing that inspired me to do podcasts was my teacher. She said she wanted us to do a podcast for a project. Uh, Me and my friend ended up doing it. I'm not sure if one person is a podcast. I'm probably saying this again. But yeah, I'm not sure. I'm going to say this a lot. I'm not sure. But I'm calling it a podcast. Anywho, we did it. And it was really boring. We had to repeat everything we said because we made a script. This one does not have a script. Actually, I am repeating this because I did something and it exited out in the outing. Anywho, first attempt at a podcast was for school and it was boring. But the second reason is more of the reason why I started a podcast. Another thing that inspired me to do podcasts is normally I don't really listen to podcasts because I call my boyfriend when I go to bed and I listen to him. (laughs) You Can Sit With Us from Try Guys is basically the Try Guys wives. I enjoy listening to them. I don't listen to them before bed like most people do with podcasts. I just casually like listen to them while I do stuff and I enjoy listening to things while I do stuff. I don't think they'd be considered podcast things but... You know, I like to feel like I'm having a conversation with someone on the phone, but I'm not. I was told your voice is supposed to be relaxing in podcasts. Mine isn't. (laughs) I want my podcasts to be, like, at least 10 minutes. Well, not at least. I want them to be, like, just 10 minutes because that seems like a good length. It's not too long, but it's not too short. And then maybe once a month, once a week. I definitely wouldn't be doing them every day. I don't know if what I'm doing right now is entertaining, but it seems to be pretty good. I don't know. I feel like we're kind of having a conversation. I'm telling somebody about what my podcast is going to be like, and then I'm excited to have a podcast. Uh, I actually have an Instagram. It is x underscore another underscore angel underscore x. Um, I do lives on there, <laughs> although I feel like my lives on there aren't that interesting, so I did my podcasts just so people can kind of, like, know my personality, and I do want to do some really good YouTube videos. The YouTube videos that I have done, I feel like I put a lot of effort into them, so, yeah. I feel like I need to get working on the titles, though, because I do not really have good titles, and I've tried putting a picture at the front. I think I'm going to try doing it again for this. Just see if it works. If it doesn't, I might have to get one of those little things that you'd use as a cover page for a YouTube video. Those apps. Because with those covers, you do get more views on your YouTube. I'm more really interested in doing Instagram than YouTube. But I felt like if I had more social media, I can draw it to my Instagram. And I guess you can also get ad revenue from youtube but i don't ever really think i'm gonna get that far with my videos maybe (laughs) i feel like i'd get more farther on instagram before i'd get that far on youtube i also should probably be better at editing i was hoping a podcast would need less editing although i don't really want to put my face in the podcast not because i'm not Not because I'm afraid to show my face, but because right now I'm just doing this so my voice can be clear. So my face is like really right near the camera. And (laughs) if I were to show my face in the podcasts, like you can sit with us does, then (laughs) I'd have to make sure I have a good microphone, a good background, and my face looks cute. And that, that seems like a lot of work to like stick on a topic i should probably name my podcast so i could be like thank you for watching this podcast well we'll think about that there's a name generator for things on google i feel like maybe i'd want it to be the same thing as my instagram 
but also my YouTube name wouldn't be the same thing about what I call my podcast, which might seem a bit interesting. I, I use my YouTube for comments more than I use it for videos. I think I think I'm gonna call it the same thing. I call this. I call my Instagram so I can get more attention to my Instagram. Uh, just bear with me on my editing. I'm trying. I'm gonna try some new interesting things on my editing. So yeah, I already have less than five subscribers. Like, so yay! I don't really have a lot of subscribers, but I, I don't post regularly. Nor is my editing the best. I try. So, that's really all that matters. Alright, this is my outro. I really hoped you liked it. I had to refilm some things. Also, I'm pretty sure I did a really good job in the editing. It was originally seven minutes, but I had to cut stuff out. And then I got to, like, four minutes and 50-something seconds. But because I cut stuff out, the video didn't make sense. And I had to retake some things and add some things in. So, yeah. Please give me a thumbs up. <laughs> Subscribe, but most importantly, follow my Instagram. Bye, guys!